Kenya nil Cameroon won home game yetu ya Uganda imesha hivyo and now we have lost two games in a row to Cameroon now we are in third place out of four Cameroon ka sha qualify they are on 10 points uh, Zim on 5 points having played a game less than us so atuko pa baya na pia atuko play poor sana but anyway uh, much better performance leo ni kama ni mwana improvements improvements which is what we want the only thing is atutaki yani game yenye mnacheza mode like two three games what is up poor alafu coach does something that messes up everything right which is basically ile squad selection but anyway positives are leo um olunga was lively he really missed chances but he was lively his press led to chances literally um if it wasn't for the pressing the chances he missed would not have happened so i'm a press poor palembele i think he has a lot of presence up front and i know people will come at him for missing chances but those things those chances are coming from him pressing um the first one ali press castelleto castelleto had come on for christopher wu when alunia last time nasty nasty head injury hope he's doing better um and then um akamnyanganya ball almost like a one on one but a bit to the side trade laying it off for duke duke didn't have the angle then laid it off to avire who kicked it over avire was very very good acha nikwambie duke today was my man of the match from a kenyan perspective but duke was allowed to be that way because of avire avire was everywhere duke was everywhere as well um olunga whenever olunga dropped deep duke was running behind Duke was pressing with um Olunga Pia like I'm at the two game all rounded to poor um and I he really worked his socks off it made sense why one of one of two of them had to come off quick uh, fast to and ali pass up ya kwanza actually both of them I think were injured uh if I'm not wrong Duke ali Duke uh, Duke ali toka to kengisha Buba na Vira ali toka kengisha Nondi actually at the same time that was the game plan just give me work rate which I think they really gave the team so I have nothing bad to say about that particular midfield. Uh Odada Odada was a bit I, I'm a lost. The last two games I feel like he's just disappeared, but I think also his is more of it's a systemic thing. Like system I, he doesn't bring these best attributes. He came off in the 84th minute. I wouldn't say he did amazing things, but also he didn't cost us. Like you could to um manage to actually help to keep Abubakar quiet. So he did his job just going through his his paces but the guy needs playing time that position that you're playing as a number 6 uni position in attacker every time every week week in week out you're playing you're sharpening your skills he's also in a new team just trying to figure things out new country and all of new country and all of that so let's see let's see where it goes at least it's get he's getting game time here when he's playing for kenya i'm sure he'll come good like very soon because he has his underlying attributes are so good he's he's press resistant he he loves playing the ball he likes um connecting the defense to the attack so but those are things that we're not seeing yet jubado team in a balance but aviru tsaleo was a game game changer um something that Mas, uh, marcelo did to got watch game na kinan by the way shout out to kinan cool. um marcelo alipata tulipata corner first corner in the 29th minute but hiyo corner ilikuwa out swinger one thing about onana yenye kinan alisema onana does not handle in swing as well so in swinger basically means if i have a corner on the left side i give a left footed player on our right side i give a left footed player so the corner comes in towards the post that way you can make runners run into the post and you never know what happens but now when you kick out swingers even if you make even if you make contact with the ball ball na come to le raisi hata hii corner um Olunga had a ball and ilikuja too straight akashika too hivi onana so again those are just small things tactical things that you can always do quick a pressure on onana onana had a very easy game i think only like two moments where he was tested one at the end kabisa ile chance yenye menda across the face of goal literally the last kick of the game and i forget the other one um and then Cameroon now this is where tactics come in yeah we need to give the Cameroon coach as well a lot of Uh, praise because kukuja kwa game tulisema left left side yao ndio tutapatia stress baso gog nani in fact to the net baso gog achezi but kumbe alikuwa anacheza ni vile hizo team sheets zikikuja majina ziko kila pahali so eh hey, kaf you need to do something we need to get official lineups like not we're not guessing 20 minutes to the game we still don't know who's playing but anyway yeah um so we knew the left side was their biggest uh, strength this game they switched it was their midfield not having baleba 
they brought on Kunde. Kunde alikuwa na make two. Hiyo late run ndani ya box. Alipata chance moja ingine wazimu. If it wasn't for Brin coming out early and actually kumnini kiasi, that would have easily been a goal. Even Anyembe, Anyembe did well to kumweka mwili kiasi so that the chance was not as easy. But um, yeah, they really did well to play through us in the middle. Um, but we did well, we did well kushikilia po katikati. Um, Anyembe to me was a surprise. Siku dhani ataanza, nilijua kumu wataingia. Nilijua, obviously, Marcelo. But I expected Omija to start, which did happen. So Anyembe ended up playing at right back. And then we had um, Omuru coming in. Alikuwa tu sawa, not great, not bad. But Anyembe was more involved. He's getting balls. You, you can tell he's much more comfortable at right back than at center back. Like, that is not even an, a question. Um... But yeah, for me, finally, Brin, that goal. How 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 do you consider a free kick from that far? I love when you are unangalia wall. I don't know if you can replace John, but then you can deflection. Literally, because you can't replace wall your side, walk your side more. Now, you can't be able to replace your side. Because there's no way you can be beaten from that far if you don't first move to one side and then come back. So I think that's just a goalkeeping thing. As a goalkeeper, you have to stick to your position and only move when the ball is kicked. If you try and anticipate, you'll be caught off guard. Standard. You, you, Fanyika. So, I think that was poor goalkeeping on my end, on 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 our end. Um, Matasi ya kucheza lakini. Hey, Brin. Yeah. Tough days. Tough days. Um, then, obviously, uh, Olunga. Yeah, Olunga had two really good chances. Three, actually. Um, and you should have at least gotten... I think one was... A, a very very good chance. Omija coming in at halftime changed a lot. You could see how that left that right side really ilibadilika tu. Kwa na Rooney, Omija na Duke your side ili change to kila kitu. So one of our best chances was the one Rooney hit the post where Duke alikuwa anakimbia kwa wing cuts it back. Alafu Omija kadami, bolika kuja Rooney akashoot kagonga post. Kikuja Olunga he didn't he didn't manage to sort his feet out to shoot but yeah it was it was a tough game it was a tough game but much better i feel like there's so much to improve on the thing that annoys me is we were saying there's so much to improve on game ya kwanza ya nil nil then we win 2-1 then we were supposed to build on that 2-1 alafu tunafanya ujinga na squad rotation so now tuna rotate back at 0 tunaanza tena ku build tena how many times are we going to build this foundation so you to your stress niko nayo um lastly i want to give a shout out to job <laughs> Job ni fun why ni is a Ugandan mwenye alikuwa na watch box to box nje ya study alikuwa nje ya study aki to watch <laughs> anangoja unana atoke kwa study na amesema me post amesema na to tag tunaenda kuangalia kama to tag but yeah box to box is huge box to box is huge and also Charles Charles who's a pharmacist alikuwa kwa pharmacy na anatusikiza jua wezi watch game na pia hizi va airpods so yeah shout out to Charles as well shukran Um, our next games are I think we play Zimbabwe next on the 11th of November and then we play um, Namibia the last game of the qualifiers but even though Vlimisha 1-0 to Cameroon <laughs>